All right. Finally, the most requested video from my Tumblr crew is here. This is going to be a quick cover of the seven free giant and small coded games I have found on Steam. So you can boogie on over there and play them right now if you wanted. But starting with number one, and my favorite one I've played so far, is Postmouse! I absolutely adored this game. This is the cutest game I've played in a while, and it's my favorite one of the bunch so far. So this game is from the students of Animation Workshop. Postmouse is a third-person, single-player puzzle platforming game about a timid mouse who has to go on their first adventure to deliver mail. Having always dreamt of the world beyond their little post office, Postmouse is emboldened to enter the great unknown, meet charming animals, solve precarious puzzles, and explore ruins of a time long past on your mission to discover letters of those waiting to hear from their loved ones. Yeah, I definitely think y'all should play this game. And you can even watch my playthrough of it, but I recommend you play through it because it's such a fun game to play. And it's so cozy as well. It's just a lovely game. For number two, we have Porcelain Tales. I genuinely like this game. It's quirky and fun, even though I hate being chased. So the fact that they made me love it, even though I'm being chased throughout the whole darn thing, that's saying something. Porcelain Tales is a 3D platform puzzle strategy game where you become a tiny garden gnome brought to life by a generous witch in order to help her collect the things she desires most. Made of porcelain, you have to be careful while exploring the world of the witch's B&B. You have the ability to hide in narrow crannies and sneak around as quiet as a mouse. In addition, you can carry objects six times your size. During your adventure through the B&B, you will encounter many obstacles to overcome and various objects to collect. Your way home won't be easy to find as you wander through the maze of the BNB. This one I have played, so if you want to watch it, pop on over and give it a quick look. So I, I say play this one as well. <laughs> I'll say this for every single one of them. Number three is Elif. This one I haven't played yet, but I think it might be genuinely for eight-year-olds, so if you don't mind that, Go for it. Elif is a third person puzzle platformer. You will experience a wholesome narration following the main character Elif. You will have to face challenges and succeed in all trials, but you won't be alone. Your favorite friend and companion Corcus will be there to help you. If you don't mind if it's a game for eight year olds, go for it. Cause honestly, games for eight year olds can be really fun. <laughs> this one I'll try at some point. Number four, Drop Alive. I enjoyed being a little droplet a little water droplet and trying to get to the big water. It was quite fun. As an adventurous and curious water drop is trapped inside a house and needs your help to get back to the place she truly belongs to, a nearby glistening river. Climb a pile of jars, squeeze yourself through pipes, and manage to get past a fridge full of stalactites without bursting. Use your wit to change from one state to another, liquid, solid, and gas, surpassing every obstacle thrown your way as the game's difficulty increases. I did enjoy this one, so, and I played it. So if you want to watch the playthrough, it's there, it's waiting for you. <laughs> Go ahead and watch it, but also play it. It is very fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Number five, Whisker Witchery. This one is awesome. If I get to be a little critter in a big room, I'm just happy. Whisker Witchery is a third person stealth platformer in which the player controls a once human apprentice who was transfigured into a rat by your rival. After being cursed by your rival, you must navigate their witch cottage all while avoiding detection by the magic creatures within. Avoid fearsome fire sprites who will hunt you down or the rare waxies, living candles who shoot balls of fire. Leap between the floating books and locate the three ingredients that hold the key to returning to normal. I, of course, love this game, <laughs> though I do wish I had more closure, and you'll see why if you watch my video. <laughs> and you should also play it and find out why, and if you need more closure as well. <laughs> Number six, Little Traveler. This one I haven't played yet but it still looks very fascinating. Little Traveler is a stealth platformer where you play as a four inch tall transient who must stay unseen as she tries to bring joy back to a lonely widow's life. You take control of Nora, a little traveler who moves from house to house helping out the little families that live there in exchange for a place to stay for the night. Upon arriving at your newest house, you learn of the plight of the full-sized homeowner, Lydia. 
who hasn't been able to make rent after losing her husband, Oscar. The small family in the house isn't doing any better, with daughter Aiko taking care of her sick mother alone and worried about the prospect of having to find a new house. I look forward to playing this, and I will play it at some point and upload it for y'all to see. But I do recommend, as always, play this game. <laughs> for number seven, Fabero. This one has fairy companions and mystery. Oh. This one, I haven't played quite yet, but I am so excited to finally play this game. I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. Fabro is a third year student project from the animation workshop in Denmark and won the Hugo BAFTA student award for games. Play the role of an amateur detective Beatrice as she and her curious fairy Lou unravel the secrets of their hometown Fabro. When Beatrice is urgently called home, she discovers that her childhood friend Agnes is missing. Join the two detectives in searching the town for clues about Agnes's whereabouts. Find the truth of Fairborough's past and perhaps you will discover the key to its present. I'm so excited to play this game. <laughs> and again, I recommend you play this game since all of these are free on Steam right now. So get over there and enjoy these games. And also please watch the ones where I have played them already and have them uploaded because that would help me a lot. <laughs> and I hope you all enjoy them as much as I did. Recommended video is now coming to a close. I hope you all enjoyed it and look forward to playing these games and actually do play these games because they bring joy to my heart and I know the community that we're all from. <laughs> y'all will also enjoy these. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves and have fun with these games. Have a good rest of your week. Smile. Have a good day and I'll see you next time. See ya!